Now for the story you've all waited for. The legendary mansion. Growing up in Detroit, just like all kids, I wanted to be flying flashy. I wanted jingle boots, kangaroos, nanny goats, Max Julians, Gandalf, sheepskin, snakeskin, Adidas, Adidas suit, and I really wanted truck jewelry. We grew up in a blue collar family. Sometimes we having trouble having some hot food on the table. Before the NBA, I couldn't afford to buy the jewelry that I really wanted to rock. Oh, when I get drafted, I'm going all out. I'm Mr. T-style, bling bling era. I bought a lot of jewelry. I bought Jesus pieces, Jacob watches, custom chains, rope bracelets, charms, earrings. And one day I fell in love with the mansion. 18 karat yellow gold containing six links. Each center link contains 63 invisibly set princess cut diamonds. Sides contain two curved columns with nine baguettes on each and 12 pave set round brilliant diamonds. I named it the mansion when I was about to purchase it because I told myself I could be purchasing a home or purchasing this idiotic bracelet. And of course, when you're in your 20s, you're going for the bling because of the bling bling air. And I was rocking it. I called it idiotic at 40, not at 25. And here's the difference. I can't be picking up my daughters from school rocking this. I can't be at JRLA board means rocking this. I still love my jewels, but the mansion is officially retired. This is the last time you will see it.